have that view over there. That's just pretty awesome. That's almost as awesome as watching that Mike Les guy on YouTube. That is one good looking tractor and grain cart. Everybody, it is Farmhand Mike coming to you from Louisville, Ohio, bringing you the second corn silage video of the 2020 season. This video is out at Broadview Farms Limited, which is owned and operated by the Dickerhoof family just outside of Louisville, Ohio. In this video, they are taking off their 2020 corn silage crop for their dairy herd, and these guys have a really nice farm, as you're going to see here, and you're also going to see in other shots throughout the video. In the field here today is their John Deere 7280R tractor point a John Deere 3975 forage harvester with a Dion F64 corn head on it. You're going to see several different forage wagons in here. You're going to see a Gale 970, a Gale 960, and also a Dion silage wagon. And several tractors pulling those wagons will be a John Deere 4240, a 4440. You also see a John Deere 4020. And on the silage bagger, you're going to see a John Deere 7400 with a Versa bagger ID 891. Louisville, Ohio is located up in the northeast part of the state in Stark County. The corn they are chopping here was planted in 15 inch row spacing, so this Dion F64 head works really good. It's a rotary corn head, so it can take a total of three 30 inch rows, so in this case with 15 inch row spacing, they are taking five rows of corn. The rotary corn head is really nice in this thick corn. You can go with the rows, against the rows, at an angle to the rows, it doesn't matter. These type of heads are very popular on the self-propelled forage harvesters, but you don't see a lot of them on the pull types. So this is very exciting to be able to show this in this video. And just look at the condition of this equipment, especially those forage wagons. The Gale 960, the red one there, uh, them were built in probably the mid 80s or so. Uh, the Gale 970, the one that's hooked to the forage harvester right now, uh, them would be late 80s, early 90s. And that one has a sold and service by Whitmer's Incorporated out of Columbia and Ohio. That's the dealership I used to work at. So there's a very good chance that I actually set that box up. You got to appreciate seeing equipment of that era in this good a shape. But it goes with the rest of the farm. I think this is a showplace farm, and you're going to see that later on or throughout the video, uh, how well kept this farm is. Also, this farm has went to milking cows with robotic milkers. I'm going to have a little bit of that at the end of the video. We didn't have a lot of time. They are very busy to go through and explain everything. So uh, maybe this winter, when uh, things slow down, I can come back out here and do another video of them uh, feeding the cows, uh, the robotic milkers and stuff where they can explain them. If you'd like to see that in a future video, comment below and let me know.
How about that Open Station 4240 though? You just don't see a lot of those, but I am definitely a fan of tractors this size that are open station. Do see a few 4040s and a few 4240s open station, but uh, they're few and far between, and it's uh, good to have it here in a video.
there is a darn good chance I'm the one that slapped that sticker on the back of this wagon. Closer look at this Dion F64 corn head.
one of the cows just walked into the milking stall here, so let's go watch this Lely Astronaut Robotic Milker in action. That's a pretty nice looking John Deere 3020 tractor on the mixer wagon. wrap up this video thanks everybody for watching hope you enjoyed it feel free to hit that like button comment below and you can also find me on instagram and twitter at farmhand mike i still have a lot more corn silage videos coming to the channel here so stay tuned for those and we are getting in the fall harvest so lots of good content still coming thanks for watching everyone